This is a Vauxhall Corsa 1.2 16 valve limited edition hatchback. It's a three door with air conditioning, 84 brake horsepower, um, 43,471 miles. Now then, the uh, fuel consumption. Urban 38.2, extra urban 62.8 and combined 51.4 with a 0 to 60 time of 13.8 seconds and 107 miles an hour top speed. Very, very nice car. Finished in white with the um, cloth upholstery. It's got uh, gloss black, 10 spoke alloy wheels, gloss black roof panel and door mirror backs. Um, you've also got the same sort of theme going on in here with the, the black um, radio surround, black inserts on the steering wheel and on the door cards. Um, really good looking car. Chrome grille. It's got an integrated rear roof spoiler. Looks like the old Nova SR sort of styling. The good old days. Probably the best seller in car we ever had in the Vauxhall range at the time. This has belonged to a, a young lady, um, kept in fantastic condition. This is just as it came in, and it's mint just as it came in. So that's always a great sign. It's got a five speed gearbox, CD radio, electric windows and door mirrors. Uh, nice and comfortable to drive, multi spoke. Sorry, multi-function steering wheel, three spokes. Nice sporty feel to it, very, very comfortable. Oops. Sorry, that, that was a, a plastic bottle blown across the road. I swerved several times before I managed to hit it. drive today um, we've been extremely busy with customers and uh, not managed to get out before now it's half past four at night and I'm also using a new microphone setup so with a bit of luck it'll be better than the previous ones but we shall see so we've got tinted windows we've got uh, rear privacy glass seats, rear wash wipe. Just coming up to the dual carriageway now so we'll give it a blast and see how it goes. Hopefully there's not too much traffic because it's uh, usually choppers around here at this time. This guy in the van gets across the roundabout we might have a chance. Or not. No, we could be here for forever. Nice and smooth, no bumps. 
as we would expect really.
grey. You can see the indicators and the wiper stalks just above the steering wheel. You've also got uh, a height and reach adjustable steering wheel there. Nice clear instrumentation. to catch the train so the level crossings down. Always the same when you're in a hurry. So what else? Looks like we've got a power socket here, two cup holders, auxiliary in there, Another cup holder here, your uh, electric door mirror switches are here with left and right and the, the joystick control there, you should be able to see the left one moving there and the right one going. Dipping rear view mirror, what have we got, we've got, oh, I can't pull that one down really because my GoPro's there. Just trying to see if there's a, yeah, looks like it's an illuminated vanity mirror. The um, seats, grey cloth surround with a kind of, I don't know, diamond, very tiny diamond cross stitch pattern. Silver surrounds around the vents. I can't remember what I mentioned, but we've got two keys for it as well. Air conditioning, that works nicely. It's a hot day in the UK today. things on the internet where people climb over the barriers to go across the railway tracks because they can't wait. I'm frightened of going across them when the when the gate's up, let alone when it's down. I'm sure this isn't going to be with us very long and uh, the next person to buy this will uh, have themselves a very very nice car. <laughs> 